Eastern Europe explodes as Germany invades the Soviet Union. More than three million German troops overwhelm the Soviet army. It's the largest military invasion in history. The Soviets, allied with the United States against Nazi Germany, suffer millions of casualties. Desperate for resources, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin authorizes the first female bomber regiments. Меня сразу взяли в штурмовскую группу, и, значит, все, я была очень довольна. Physics student Irina Vecheslavovna Rakobolskaya is one of the first to volunteer and soon becomes chief of staff for the all-female 588th Night Bomber Regiment. They are well-trained and fiercely committed to defending their homeland. Мы же шли на войну. Мы знали, это война, мы рискуем жизнью. Women were used because Russia was short of manpower and short of pilots. And there were women in Russia who were extremely capable aviators and able to lead combat squadrons. In the spring of 1942, the women's regiment is sent to the front lines, and as many as 40 crews of pilots and navigators are equipped for combat with the old-fashioned two-seated Polykarpov PO2, a biplane constructed of plywood and oiled fabric and extremely fragile. Если вы вот ткнёте туда в это крыло, то вы пальцем проткнёте дырку. It was much more like a World War 1 airplane than a World War 2 airplane. The PO2 is rudimentary in design and technology. Its top speed is less than 100 miles per hour, while German warplanes average nearly 400 miles per hour. But the pilots quickly learn to exploit its advantages. It's easy to fly and maneuver and can carry over 400 pounds of bombs. Этот самолет, он был такой простой. Он не требовал особого бензина, особых приспособлений для бомб или чего-то. Он ничего не требовал. Он требовал только, чтобы сел летчик, сел сзади штурма. Their night missions take them over enemy lines in the dark to bomb German targets like supply depots, airfields, and even troops. They endure temperatures as low as zero degrees in the open cockpit and sometimes toss out a small bomb or extra grenades carried in their laps. The Germans nickname them Nachtexen, the night witches, for their elusive midnight raids. И мы знали, что немцы называли нас ночными ведьмами. Нам мы не возражали. Конечно, мы ночные ведьмы были. Да ясно. The night witches maneuver through a dangerous situation. The slow and flimsy PO2 lacks protective armor, so the women must strike silently using stealth tactics and the element of surprise. When they were close to their aim point, they would switch off their engines and glide in silently to drop the bomb. As the pilots throttle back, cutting the engine's fuel supply, the PO2 is able to remain aloft due to the force of lift. Lift is generated by the flow of air around the plane's wings, counteracting the plane's weight. Unlike heavier metal planes, the PO2's light frame and fabric wings help maintain its lift longer, so the plane continues to glide forward as it descends toward the target and into a precarious position. И самолет парашютировал до высоты примерно 500 метров. Ниже нельзя было бомбить, потому что тогда осколки от бомб летели наверх и попадали в наш самолет. Silently maneuvering through the freezing night air over the German lines, these brave women drop their bombs on their targets. Dodging bomb fragments and evading German anti-aircraft fire, the pilots throttle up their engines and make a dash for home to refuel, rearm, and go out to bomb again. Семь раз девчонка подходила на своем самолете к линии фронта, Она возвращалась к себе, вся трясется, и ей подвешивали новые бомбы, заправляли новым бензином, и она снова вылетала на цель. Вот так мы работали. Наши представляете себе? The night witches are the first women of any nation to fly in combat. 
Using the outdated PO2 and inventive tactics, these young women fly more than 24,000 bombing runs, during which 30 of them lose their lives. Their bold missions help push the Germans out of the Soviet Union and bring victory to the Allies.